Good morning, pre-K friends. How's everybody doing today? All right, today is May 6, 2020. Today is a Wednesday. So let's look at that again. May 6, 2020. So the last time I was on this, it was April. So now we are into a new month, May 6. All right, so our numbers this week, so this week we're practicing how to write those numbers, how to write some certain numbers and get some good practice in. So remember, when you're writing, you're going to take your pencil and you're going to pinch it and lay that third finger underneath there to relax. And if you need to, you can make big motions. That's what's kind of fun about numbers. You can make them really big and then start to shrink them down and make them smaller. So right now we're just practicing how to get the movement. And this week they ha uh, we have a couple of them that are really hard to write. So we're going to practice that. So our first number, here we go. Here's our handwriting book that a little closer so you can see that. So I'm going to put it back here and practice. We have the number three. So we're going to take two curves. So you're going to start at the top and you're going to make a curve down. Curve and then another curve. And there we go. Number three. Okay. Remember, you're going to start up here. Curve, curve. There we go. Three. The kind of a fun thing about three is you can count the three little points on it. One, two, three, which gives you the number three. So sometimes if you can't remember how many, you can count. One, two, three. All right. So here we have in our book three fish. We have three fingers. See that closely? Start at the top. Curve, 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 curve. All right, very good. Okay, the next one we're going to move on to is the number four. Okay, let me put my piece that. Put that back here. Now, number four is all straight lines. We have big lines and little lines. So if we had Matt Man here, we would start here at the top and have a little line. And then you would go across. Okay, and you go pick it up and then start back up and go down. Okay, so that is the demonstration right there as you can see. One line, down and across, pick it back up, down across, pick it up and go straight down, all the way down. And here we have some farm animals. We have four animals. Looks like we have a horse, a cow, a sheep and a pig. Okay, so let's practice counting the number four, writing the number four first. So start at the top, little line, little line. Pick it back up, start back up, and go big line all the way down. Keep practicing that one. Sometimes it's a little difficult to write. You want to start it, make it really big. Start here, here, and big line straight down. Okay, so keep practicing that number four. Also a little thing about number four, a little fun thing to learn, is there are four points. One, two, three, four. So when we get into adding, you can be counting one, two, three, four. Just extra little fun there. All right, let's move on to our next number. Looky there, number five. And a lot of us are, a lot of our pre-K friends have already turned the number five. So remember five, five fingers. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, five fingers. Okay, five is a little tricky too. So let's talk about that. They have a little line straight down little line straight down and a curve. Then pick your pencil back up and then you would go little line across. So Miss Northcutt's going to uh, practice that with you. Looky there, they have five starfish. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So we're going to, again, start here. Little line down. 
and then a curve, pick it back up and go across. I know a lot of you are going to try to do this. At this point, I think the best way is to start like they want us to. So little line, curve, pick it back up because everybody can make that little short one right there. All right, practice one more time. Here we go. Down, curve, pick it back up and across. All right, keep practicing that. Maybe do it in some shaving cream. Maybe do it out on the sidewalk. Anything you have at home that you can play with, markers, all those good things. Okay, so today I have brought us some dice. Everybody knows what dice look like, and they count, each one counts up to six. So I'm going to roll the dice, and we're going to make a little word problem today. And this is a good way for you to be practicing your numbers, because now we're practicing one through five. I haven't gotten quite to six yet, but could practice for next week. So I'm going to roll the dice, show everybody what I got. Hmm, I got a three. One, two, three. So here we go. We'll practice writing our three. Three. We're going to put three dots. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to roll the other dice. And I got a five. That is a five. So I'm going to draw my five, remember? Down, curve, and across. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I want to know how many dots do I have in all? What is my total number that I got? Okay, let's count them. Easiest way, let's make our dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So three and five make eight. Oh my goodness, we're going to practice this one. Miss North is going to help you a little bit. We haven't done it yet. But circles and circles curve around. We have eight. And if you want to, you can put your eight dots down there. So those are some word problems, math problems, that you could be getting ready for kindergarten doing. This is really good work for you guys. You can roll a dice, go get three Hot Wheels at home, dolls. You can have your dolls play along with you, your stuffed animals. I know you all have stuffed animals. And you could put them and talk to them and maybe teach them a math lesson. That might be a lot of fun. All right, pre-K friends, looking forward to seeing you in the Google Hangout tomorrow. Remember, Thursday at 1030 is our time every week. We're going to shoot for that every week till the end of school. I hope everybody's getting outside. We've had some great weather. You're going out and doing your nature walk. Maybe you're looking for some plants. All kinds of plants are blooming. You can smell them. You can see them. Also, maybe you're looking for some insects. And remember, insects are going to have a little hard body and legs and maybe some eyes and a little antenna. So you can look for those. All right. Until tomorrow. See ya. Bye.